trying to cover up a bout of cold sores as she arrived back in Britain ahead of reportedly meeting up with husband Ashley Cole. Her friends have allegedly revealed to the News of the World that they're worried Cheryl was under physical stress following the split. Hardly surprising, I suppose. But uh, when you are under great pressure, do you get kind of physical manifestations? Does your body let you know that, that all is not well? What happened to me uh, with my uh, breakup was that, um, and it was just horrendous, and I now know how men feel, because I lost my hair, and it started, it went at the top, and then it started to go to the sides, and I completely lost my fringe, and I can tell you that is just a nightmare. And I ended up wearing wigs, and um, that made the stress far worse, because um, I had to wear wigs on here, I went back to Corrie, I had to wear wigs on there, wherever and, and I felt just I felt so naked and so sad from for myself because I had it like like I hadn't got any protection at all mm. like mm. everything had gone you know and and it I just felt so exposed and it was the most awful did thing it come out, did it come out quickly it, ca it no it no. sort of came out and then it then it started to grow back and then it came out again and anyway it's grown back now and it's quite strong and, and it's fine. Is but that real? Yes. Look. <laughs> watch, watch, look. Do you know what? See, Honestly, look. I never ever know. And they say you wore a wig on here. I never noticed. Really? I swear. Yeah. But also, Absolutely. the awful thing is about it is that you are so ashamed of yourself and you can't tell anybody. I know that sounds stupid, but you feel ashamed. But the other thing I also do when I'm upset is I eat. Like, I, like, you know, all the stress I've got had, and I had something happen to me the other day. So I ate the most enormous plate of chips and salad cream and felt <laughs> so sick. But see, I'm the, funny, I'm the opposite of that. Do if you? Because I, I love my food, I eat all the time, but the minute I'm upset, uh, the food, I can't even think of eating, and I just probably smoke and drink too much. Which see, that's is not totally great. the wrong thing to I do, know, isn't yeah. it? I know. Because I do like a drink. I don't know if you know that. <laughs> <laughs> but I tell you what, this is absolutely true. If I'm down or if something bad has happened, I, do I don't drink. I oh really don't. I honestly don't. I know a lot of people, when something goes wrong, they head for the bottle, they have to cheer me up. It doesn't. It just makes it a thousand times worse. And I've what learned. What do you actually do then if you don't drink or anything? What do you do? What makes you if feel I've better? Got, if I've got stress. Yeah. yeah. I've seen Carol stress. Well, it's when scary. I'm. I do get a bit grumpy. No! <laughs> a bit grumpy. I get a bit cross Everyone about things. Hides. Well, <laughs> no, I know, but it, I, can't, I can't help it. I, I, little tiny little things really, really make me cross like if what? I've got stress. If I'm, just before I left for my, um, my birthday, for my holiday a couple of weeks ago from here, um, I was stressed. I was stressed about the party. I was stressed about work. I wanted to get out of here. I needed. I've had a, a, a book I had to finish, and, and I just didn't have enough time. It was all getting on top of me. And then one tiny little thing happened. Like I went up to the dressing room, and it was the wrong number, and I couldn't get in. And literally, I literally, it was like I was having a proper fit. I started banging on the window for the for Anthony, the boy with the numbers. I was like, Where's Anthony? Where's Anthony? Where is he? I actually, I actually. That's all it was. I actually witnessed it. What she doesn't know, it was me that changed the code. <laughs> <laughs> you you were in Zoe well. Yeah, well, Zoe was there. No, it was quite scary. Um, <clears throat> it's funny, actually, because you were saying you yeah. overeat when you're, you know, depressed and you don't eat no. when you're depressed. And I really eat when I'm depressed and I really eat when I'm not. Um, <laughs> so that doesn't matter to me. But I agree with the drink because when, I, when, my, when my marriage and all that was falling apart, I thought, I know what I'll do, because you see it in films, don't you? They always go for a drink. And I thought, drink must help. And you don't drink. And I don't drink anyway. And I sat there for about three nights <laughs> with a bottle of wine, absolutely slaughtered. And the first two glasses, I thought, oh, this is great. Don't need him. Look what he's missing and all that. You know, when, and I thought, this is great. I feel so much better. Third glass. Oh my god! <laughs> Why? Why? I think, yeah, I think that's what they call in your cups, isn't yeah. it? In my yeah. cups. Oh. Stress in your cups. That's a lot of drink. <laughs> She's not depressed about that. <laughs> <laughs> well, no,